Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Bealicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. Today I'm going to share with you some goodies I picked up from Bath & Body Works. They were having such an amazing sale for back to school. So I got items from $2 to $12.95, which if you regularly shop at Bath & Body Works, their regular price is insanely expensive. So I only shop the deals because they have a lot of deals frequently throughout the year and the week. Also, if you sign up through the app, you do get some coupons, also some freebies, which I have been getting a lot. Also, I have one included in this video, so stay tuned to see what it is. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Let's just go ahead and dive straight into the haul. You all know I love candles. At one point on my channel, I had 44 to 46 candles. I'll have that video linked down below if you want to check it out. I definitely have decreased my candles though because that was just like a lot for any person to own. So I picked up this new one, the Blue Jasmine and Current candle. So I love the minimalistic design on it. I feel like it'll go with like any type of home decor that you have. And the notes on this is Blue Jasmine, Current Nectar, and Crystal Peony. So I just absolutely love the design. I hope it has more of a intense smell. So if you are new here, I like more heavily scented candles, one that's almost like overpowering because if I'm spending my money on it I want to get my money's worth I don't really like the light throws I remember I purchased the champagne toast candle and that one was too much of a light throw for me so I did have to return it so if you do like light throws that's a good scent to check out so we shall see how this burns I repurchased the white pumpkin I got this last year it had like a buffalo plaid design on it but I absolutely love the gold and white it just looks like very like high end and very like luxurious so the notes on this is going to be gendered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. I don't really get much of a caramel scent. It just smells more like a pumpkin spice to me, but it's not like too pumpkin-y. The best way that I can describe it is that you smell like more so these spices with a hit of pumpkin scent to it. Another scent that I constantly repurchase is the pumpkin apple scent. I absolutely love this one. It's like kind of like a medium throw, I would say. Definitely not like too overpowering. And what I love most about this candle, it doesn't smell like too much like pumpkin scented or like a heavy apple scent if you catch my drift but it's just like a nice blend of the two with like a little bit of like a spice to it so I think it's like a really good fall candle and the notes on this is red delicious apple pumpkin fresh ground cinnamon and clove bed so highly recommend checking it out next time you're at Bath and Body Works Oh, you know I had to save the best for last. I definitely stocked up on my leaves candle. This is my absolute favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. And when it came out with the hand soap about two years ago, I literally drove 30 minutes to get the last five out of Bath & Body Works because the ones near me were all sold out and for good reason because it smells amazing. So this is a very strongly scented candle. I can literally light it in one room. I could smell it throughout the whole entire house. I remember in like my first apartment, it was only like 600 square feet. Honestly, I think it was like less than that, like 500 and something square feet. And literally like the whole apartment smelled like it. But even in a bigger house, I'll light it in the living room. I can smell it all the way in my bedroom. And this house is about 1100 square feet. So highly recommend it. It's the best fall candle ever. I've said this many times before. If you don't like the strong scent though, you probably won't like this, but I feel like this has all the fall scents blended into one. So the notes on this is crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice, but oh, it just smells so good. You have to smell it next time you go into Bath & Body Works. And then they had lip care on sale for $4. So I picked up this SPF 20 coconut lip balm. I've been using it for two days now. I really do like it a lot, even though it says coconut on there, I don't really smell it. It's not highly fragranced at all, at least to me personally. So I know I sound like a broken record, but one of my goals this year, just like one of the habits I want to do better at is reapplying sunscreen. I know it's not always easy to have like a can of sunscreen available to reapply. So I have like my super goop face powder. If I have a full face of makeup, it's something I can like toss into my purse and just kind of like reapply throughout the day. Also, I am constantly reapplying my chapstick. So this has SPF in it, which is like really helpful so again i'm just looking for like little products here and there to reapply i still want to purchase the elf primer with the sunscreen as well as a setting mist that has sunscreen i think that would be 
very helpful as well but i'm just waiting to run out of a few products first but nevertheless i really like this lip balm a lot i love that it has sunscreen and it was on sale pretty affordable and i think it does a great job at moisturizing my lips also i purchased these lip masks for four dollars so i got the vanilla lip mask and then the champagne toast lip mask so far i've used the champagne one i have the milani lip mask right now and then the laneige one for travel but my lips get so dry so this is very nice and hydrating on the lips and it came at a great price again i did get these on sale so i wouldn't pay 12.50 for a lip balm i can just go get my aqua four for like less than five bucks or so this retails for 12.95 which is like pretty standard for a lip mask i think the milani one is like nine or ten dollars so i would say it's definitely worth the full price for the lip mask but not the lip balm just keeping it real over here but this was such an amazing deal i really like it all you need is just like a tiny bit for it to go a long way i'll maybe apply it like once or twice but if you have dry lips i would highly recommend giving these lip masks a try also it doesn't have much of a scent to it so with the three lip products that i purchased you're good to go if you don't like highly fragrancing i mean i don't need it in my lip balm and my lip mask but you know if i'm gonna spray it on me or like have a candle i want it highly fragrant so i think these are good to go and i think these are definitely worth a try and then the hand creams are on sale for two dollars so don't judge me for this part but we literally bought five of the dry hand relief because i do work at home 100 percent so i'm constantly washing my hands my hands get easily dry so i literally have one on my little work desk like by the nightstand ernie will take some to work as well so we just decided to stock up because we really like bath and body works formula even if we go to target or walmart the gold bonds like five or six dollars and honestly i feel like that makes my hands feel more dry so i really do like bath and body works formula a little bit goes a long way it's not greasy at all so we picked up five of these i'm not using all of them some of them ernie's going to keep at work or we're also we keep some in our car so also, we just kind of disperse it everywhere. It's just nice to have. Who likes dry hands? I certainly don't. Also, I got the Japanese cherry blossom scent. And one thing I noticed because beforehand, I was only able to get like these type of hand creams because it didn't have mineral oil or castor oil in it. I forgot the other ingredient, but I break out with certain ingredients. And I'm starting to notice that they aren't having mineral oil and like other fragrances, which is definitely nice. I definitely double check though. Otherwise, my face will break out like crazy. Also, I got the restore hand cream so this one smells super good i've had this before and then also i purchased the coconut milk one and download the bath and body works app if you haven't already you'll get like freebies you'll get your coupons on there if you're like me and get like the mailer coupons the ones you like physically get in the mail sometimes i forget to add them to my purse i just forget about it when i'm shopping i'm like darn i could have got like an extra discount but it's nice to have it in your phone so you have it at all times very easy to use. Also, like I said, sometimes you get freebies. And when I was in there, I opened up the app and I saw that there was like an app member, like exclusive reward. So Bath & Body Works is gonna have laundry detergent. So I was super excited. I decided to give like the traditional like linen set a try. So it's sun-drenched linen. It has clean linen, crisp apple, soft musk as the notes. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I can't wait to see what they come out with. I think this is gonna be very popular there. I'm curious how it's gonna make my laundry smell like. I'm assuming super good. Recently, I got a freebie of like the big shampoo bottles and that makes my hair so soft. Sales associate told me just use a little bit cause it lathers up like crazy. And it really did. And my hair is like really nice and soft. I have a freebie on my app. I need to get the matching conditioner as well to like really put it to the test. But I'm really excited with the new line of products that Bath & Body Works is coming out with. I absolutely love like things to smell good, like my house to smell good, myself to smell good. So I can't wait to give it all a try and give you all a full review. And that's everything I purchased from Bath & Body Works. As much as I love shopping there, never pay full price because these things constantly go on sale. You just have to get the email reminders or check their website daily download the app so that way you can maximize your savings there and get some freebies and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button down below also give this video a thumbs up be sure to turn on notifications I upload every wednesday saturday and i'll see you all in my upcoming videos bye everyone